Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. It is the 11th of May, 2021. Just got done with the Litecoin video, but if it sounds a little different and it looks a little different, it's because it is because I'm on my Surface laptop doing this because I'm watching my son right now who is sleeping and I have ribs in the oven, which are about 16 minutes and 35 seconds away from being done. So I'm out of my office downstairs and I went upstairs to uh, do this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I've got Cardano's uh, point and figure chart up and it's on the one cent three box reversal. And I really don't get a lot of info here because it's it's very much range bound. It's difficult to see where I would go long or go short here. Well, it's not difficult. It's just there's nothing ideal. So what I want to do, we'll take a look at the candlesticks here as well. I'm going to take a look at the two cent and see if that clears anything up. And if it doesn't, I might have to raise the box size. <clears throat> okay. Okay, this does provide a little bit more of an idea of what's happening. And for those of you unfamiliar with point and figure, point and figure is a price action chart. That means it's price action only. So if you say you're a price action trader, then I hope you are using a price action chart because if you say you trade price action, um, you're not if you are using candlesticks. That's just a technicality. I know it's a buzzword to say I'm a price action trader. But this is a price action chart, meaning that it only records price. These columns, there's no time limit here. There's, these aren't like candlesticks. There is no time factor involved, and there's no volume. This is just pure price only. But we do get to see the reversals that occur, and we do see similar patterns show up in anything else. And so we have this head and shoulders pattern possibly developing. So just keep that in mind. On the point and figure chart, this pattern here is important. There's the high here at uh, 176, and then high at 176 again, and then again. That's a triple top, and we see a breakout above that triple top. Okay, That is a very, very bullish sign. A split triple top is a very bullish setup, especially if it breaks above. However, we're not seeing follow through currently. We're not seeing follow through. The entry on this is actually at 178 even. So if you wanted to take the long side of this, you could. But what concerns me is that it's trading lower. And this is a bearish setup. Okay. So if a new column of O's forms, that's not, that's not a big deal yet. But if it forms and we form a double bottom, at 170 even. So if this new column of O's forms at 170, there's a double bottom. And then we would short it at 168. That is a bull trap. That is a bull trap pattern. A bull trap pattern occurs when you have a bullish entry, but then, did I say that right? A bullish entry, but then the next column of O's turns into a sell entry. That is a bull trap. If we get another X above it, and then the same thing happens, that's called a washout. Or sorry, that's called a fake out. Those are worse uh, in point figure charts. So let's just look at this from both sides. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. This is how you calculate I won't go into details, but the calculating profit targets is really, really nice and easy to do. Eight times uh, 0 0.2, sorry, 0 0.2 times 3 is 48. So we add 48 cents to the low here, which brings us to, <coughs> excuse me, 238. That would be the profit target from this level, 238. That's always up there. That would be the profit target. On the short side of it, it's fairly limited. Oh my God. Short side, we would really be looking at, was it two, four, six, 18? Okay, that'd be, yeah, we'd be roughly around that 158 level. 
yeah, not that, not that great. But nonetheless, the bear trap setup is there, and we have that head and shoulders pattern. And the head and shoulders pattern, let's just put that back on there because we're going to go to the candlesticks. Basically looking for a break below that 154 zone. Okay, let's go to the candles. So the candlesticks, I mean, you can see this possible head and shoulder setup. And really, we've, we've identified a, a warning sign below this close at 157. That's been there for a few days, really. <clears throat> this is the hourly chart looking at the daily. Um, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not terrible. I mean, there is... There is things pointing to some higher prices here if it can break out, but we've got an inside bar forming on the daily. We'll get a new candle in 30 minutes. Now we've found support against the Tenkinsen. I'm going to get rid of that right now. We found support against the Tenkinsen, but ultimately, yeah, watch for a break below 157. Our near-term support would be around 130-ish. That's in between the daily Kijinsen and that Senko Span A and B are the top of the clouds here, so that, that'd be a good area to identify as support. But if the, the percent B breaks out above 0.8, we could see $2 very quickly. We definitely could, so keep that in mind. And I think we'll, we'll end it there, folks. Thank you for watching. Sorry, it looks a little different and sounds a little different. It won't be like this tomorrow. <laughs> But I uh, hope you all have had a good start to your week from all of us here at exchangerates.uk.org. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.